All right, guys, your boy Moist Mercenary, and today I made a special combo. Uh, very much a uh, interesting combo. Something from my childhood that I decided to adapt into something for a video. I'm currently putting it together as we speak. Uh, this is... I'm labeling this for the title as What If Twisted Tempo is an Attack Type, but really this is a combo I love to refer to as the ultimate hockey puck or just the hockey puck maybe this is the ultimate one because this is an improvement over the childhood combo but let me just show you the hockey puck combo twisted tempo 85 r2f originally it was just regular face bolt instead of mf2h and it used giga flat instead of r2f but as you know this is not reliable in a takara stadium back in those Hasbro stadiums back in the day, sure, it was pretty good, but nowadays it just doesn't quite cut it. So let's go ahead and hop right into this battle with our Twisted Tempo. Uh, I have a couple of battles set here. First we have what should be the easiest battle. I have these sort of broken up into a couple of tiers of challenge. First is Gravity Destroyer, which is a pretty mid defense type. Then we have Fang Leon, another fairly mid-defense type. His tip is really good for stamina stuff, but yeah, pretty bad defense. We're moving right into Hell Kerbex, which wrong color tip, I know, but I can't find my black one. So we're just going to go with orange. Uh, yeah, Twisted Tempo should put up a fairly good fight with the boost disc and all that. And finally, Death Quetzalcoatl will be his last opponent with RDF, should be pretty good pretty solid challenge let's see how it goes all right i realized after i launched the destroyer that i was not recording so let's just let's just restart that uh first battle of the video tempo versus destroyer yeah crazy knockout there uh took longer than i expected honestly for twisted tempo but uh, especially against Gravity Destroyer, I mean. Okay. The yeah, rule is if there's contact, there's a winner. That was contact, there is a winner, and it was Gravity Destroyer. Unfortunate second round, but... Oh, I... Yeah, Tempo definitely ain't letting that slide. Crazy knockout from Tempo there. Definitely not ideal, especially against Gravity Destroyer, who is opposite spin, so I'll probably win the LAD battle, but sorry if I'm shouting, I do tend to do that once there is a rapid Beyblade. It is quieting down though, so I should probably stop, but yeah. Destroyer's death. Destroyer loses, I'm gonna be shocked, honestly. That was a draw. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, so it's still... Fuck. Okay. The thing... I'm gonna just need to get a new grip or something for that uh, left launcher, but... Okay. Score is 2-1 now. dealing damage here but I don't know it looks like gravity might win just uh, again the equalization and the LED and stuff oh no Temple actually did win thankfully he did enough damage to temp or to destroyer to actually pull out the win there so Tempo doing pretty good so far it's mostly my launches that are forsaking me right now all right, hopping right into the battle against Fang Leon. Let's see. Fang Leon is in counter mode right now. Uh, this is not looking great. 
Wow, okay, that late into the battle and Twisted still got a knockout. I'm not sure if that's good for Twisted or bad for Fang. Okay, unfortunate, relaunching. I did not see if there was a hit there. I'm just not sure about that one. Okay, that was definitely a hit, and Leon ate nothing. And another insane knockout. It's very quick. I'm gonna try one more because it does feel like I'm just like sort of sniping it. So, I'm gonna try it. And, yeah, I don't think it matters as long as you get like a solid launch on Twisted and just hit Leon. This is actually damaging my BB10 a little more. Like I feel this here, and I'm like, holy crap, that's that's damage. <laughs> There is damage being caused by Twisted Tempo in this specific combo. Uh, moving on to Hell Kerbex. All right, again, I forget to hit the record button. Uh, I did shift the stadium a little bit. Bad launches with Tempo previously. Insane knockout there from Tempo. Uh, is that the second match or was that the first match? Uh, I'll check back after. Or actually, I'm going to just cut and check that. <laughs> Alright, so that is 2-0 in Tempo's favor. Even against an uh, insane wall of a bay like Kerbex, which is very defensive, especially against a low height attacker. Where did I actually put tempo after that, uh, shoot? Let me, let me look for my Beyblade. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So, anyways. Knockout, meaning this is a flawless victory for tempo here. Yeah, me forgetting to hit the record button did... So, yeah, uh... Tempo did win, but I would just do one more or a couple more because that was a very fast battle. Wow, even that late into the battle, he can knock out Hell Curb. Hell Curbex, that late should not be getting knocked out. So the fact Twisted Tempo just did that like that so easily at low velocity and stuff like that is an impressive knockout. I will definitely give him that. So moving right along into the final batch. All right, I'm just gonna re-record this whole segment because I kept messing up launches with Kessel. Something like that. Bruh. Okay, hopefully this time the launches go good. And this thing is even coming undone from, actually no, that's just a rabbit fusion wheel. So far, 1-0. I'm not even going to relaunch at this point. I'm just going to go with it. Uh, Tempo's winning. If I can get them both in the stadium and they touch once, one of them is a win. and hope there's a proper winner at some point. Okay, Tempo wins. You can see this is actually a pretty good attack type combo. Uh, the If you're wondering how Tempo can hit so hard despite being a fairly pretty round wheel, it shouldn't have like good recoil at all. But because if you look here, uh, there's something called the Staircase of Death if you haven't seen it before. Uh, it just is a gap here without metal. So it is an imperfect uh, wheel, making this pretty pr pretty aggressive, actually. Unbalanced 
bays hit super hard. Like if you look at some of the zero G bays that might not have a perfectly round shape, I know there are definitely burst bays that make use of a sort of unbalanced wheel. The lack of balance might be a huge detriment to stamina, but for tempo, it has pretty solid stamina and it's just incredibly defensive because it's a round wheel. Plus on top of that, it can be crazy for attack due to that gap. Uh, that gap makes this thing hit so hard. Like even in a defense combo against other defense types and stuff, like I can demonstrate it real quick now. Like this thing gets knockouts against regular defense types in stock. Like I'll put it together right now for you on video. Twisted Tempo in stock can get knockouts very well against attack types, against stamina types, against other defense types. It is a pretty crazy bay. I'll just try it real quick against Gravity Destroyer. Gravity could actually win this. Yeah, Gravity wins, right? Gravity wins one. Despite being such a round wheel, despite there being like zero aggression here, Gravity did actually win again. So it's not really helping my point, but you can see how tempo being so unbalanced can create even more. Like there it is against Fang Leon, just flinging Fang Leon around. So yeah, you can see how tempo is just so incredibly like versatile as a wheel, like great defense, great stamina great attack i'd say this is the ultimate balance type wheel uh probably not but you know just being dramatic anyways i hope you guys did enjoy the video be sure to like and subscribe thank you for getting me to 300 subs recently been loving the support on the channel uh remember join exotics server in the description it's pretty dead uh help change that i guess if you want maybe please anyways that's gonna be it for the video i'm rambling at this point uh i think i said it already but like comment subscribe all that stuff yeah bye